Hi, this is Epix, and this is my review of the Arcade VGA2 graphic card. What you see here is what you get uh, when you order from uh, Ultimark in the UK. And it's basically an ATI card, and you can even see here on the fan the ATI logo was still present. Uh, this particular card is the PCI Express version of the Arcade VGA card, and uh, it's originally an HD2400. And when I say originally, that's because the BIOS on this graphic card has been flashed over with the information required to do custom resolutions uh, when attached to an authentic video arcade monitor. And that's where this graphic card really, really shines, is um, if we take a look at the ports here, you'll see three ports, and that's pretty standard for most graphic cards. Uh, where this card differs, though, is this VGA port uh, is capable of doing an actual... Um, RGB connection to an arcade monitor. Uh, what that means is you'll be running authentic arcade resolutions, for example the 15 kilohertz modes. It's also capable of a couple of 25 kilohertz modes and of course 31 kilohertz modes. So this will be playing classics like Galaga for you, uh, Black Tiger which is one of my personal favorites, uh, provided of course that the monitor that you connect it to is capable of those lower resolutions and refresh rates. Uh, right next to the VGA port, you'll see an S-Video port. Now, unlike some of the newer ATI and NVIDIA cards, which have 9-pin and 7-pin ports, which are actually capable of doing component out via their S-Video port, this one is not. It's just a standard 4-pin S-Video port, so you're going to get really crappy S-Video quality. Um, I say that hesitantly. Um, when that was all I had, it looked pretty damn good. Component was a step up, but oh boy, let me tell you, when you do the actual authentic arcade monitor via this bad boy, you ain't see nothing like it. It's pretty damn sweet. And finally, the third port here is just a standard DVI port. So, of course, any DVI-capable LCD monitor, TV, you name it, uh, you can connect that up. But the important thing to remember is you're only going to get the authentic arcade resolutions and performance when connected to this VGA port here. All right. Other than that, again, it's just a PCI Express version. Now, they do have an AGP version on the website. When you order the card, you're going to get the card uh, professionally packaged. I had no complaints about the packaging. Ultimark uses DHL as a courier. And uh, I kid you not, uh, I ordered, and this is from British Columbia, Canada. Two days later, it arrived. So, I mean, fantastic, quick, prompt service. Um, everything was professionally bubble wrapped and you get the card and you get a driver CD. Now having ordered a couple of other Ultimark products um, and if any of you watching this have you'll notice a very familiar CD and this is kind of the universal CD that goes out with their products it has not just the video card drivers but it's got uh, drivers and utilities for um, other devices like the iPack for example. Other than that it's, uh, it's a stock video card um, again, it's the HD2400 ATI card, which is, uh, you know, fantastic for older 2D games. Where I am having some issues, of course, is with some of the newer 3D stuff. Uh, unfortunately, this card is just not capable of running Street Fighter 4 for the PC, for example, uh, at an acceptable resolution um, or performance frame rate. Uh, the resolution is fine, you know, 640 by 480 or 800 by 600 you can pick, but lousy, lousy frame rates, 15, 20 frames per second, which is, you know, even with all the uh, graphical options toned down, it's just not acceptable. But uh, with that said, if you're into the classics uh, and even a lot of the newer PC stuff, like this can do Lego Star Wars just fine, um, it can run a lot of the other PC games, uh, third-party applications that are run, absolutely no problem. Uh, in the next video, uh, we'll actually look at some of the options and things that you want to do when you get this uh, card installed in your computer, some of the utilities that you want to run to really take advantage of this card and make it shine. Thanks.